Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit different. I know a lot of the YouTubers in my genre, I don't know what you call it, have been doing the $20 Thanksgiving challenge and that's great and they're doing a fantastic job, but it wasn't calling to me. I don't want to do that. When I make a video, I do something that I feel like I need to, like somebody out there might need to see it and it has to like spark my interest and like call to me. Does that make sense? Might sound weird. I don't know, but that's how it works with me. So mine isn't that. <laughs> my budget for my Thanksgiving dinner that we're going to have tomorrow. I know it's a little bit early, but we have three family dinners that we go to around Thanksgiving and ours is always early. So my budget for our Thanksgiving dinner, probably going to be around 10 people. So $25 was my budget. But I didn't, I don't think I spent 25. I have to re-add and check. But the one thing that I wanted to do was show you guys how I want to just search my pantry over and I want to come up with some Thanksgiving dinner sides with just random stuff I have in my pantry. And hopefully it will inspire you guys to pantry shop, to look in your deep freezers, look in your refrigerator freezers, back of your fridge, back to your cabinets, whatever. To look in there to see what random stuff you have and you look at it like lay it all out on the table all your random stuff look at it and then try to come up with a thanksgiving side so you don't have to spend money that you don't need to spend right so that's what my thanksgiving dinner video is going to be about i did find a butterball for 99 cents a pound or 98 cents a pound yeah but that sale went went out the window yesterday but Walmart does have the Honeysuckle brand for 98 cents a pound right now. My Walmart does at least. And I did find five pound bag of taters at Walmart for $2.88. Sorry, I'm really excited about that because they have been $5.67 for a five pound bag. So I'm very really excited about my potatoes. And y'all may think that I'm a crazy person. I don't know if a lot of people do this. A lot of people might do this. I don't know. But I have found if you cook your turkey in the crock pot, it ain't going to be super pretty. But by golly, it's going to be juicy and taste good. It's really super tender. It is juicy. It's flavorful. And it's good. So that's why I'm going to do my turkey. Like I said, they're not really pretty. They're not like picturesque. I have a crock pot. But it's going to be good. That's all that matters. Anyways, enough of my talking. I hope this is up y'all's alley. But I just didn't really want to do the $20 thing that is really popular right now. I just wasn't, wasn't feeling it, you know? Here's what we got. I found me a turkey for $0.98 cents a pound. $11.33. $1.88 for some mushrooms. This is going to be going into some dishes. Like I said, my $2.88 5 pound bag of potatoes. $2 for some sharp cheddar cheese. 88 cents for some broccoli cuts, 88 cents for whole kernel corn, 98 cents for whipped topping, two bananas were 23 cents. This was a dollar. The total for this stuff came out to $22.06. Now you see this over here because I've already dug them up. This is why I've already got out of my pantry green beans for like a green bean casserole. I have this in my pantry. It is going to go here and make a banana poke cake. Um, I have canned bacon from last year, and it's going to go in a dish. Now, we're going to go through my pantry, and we're going to see what else we can come up with. Right off the bat, all-purpose flour. So, oh, oh, yes, and I have, hold on. I always keep some yeast. I have a lot of this, a lot. What is that? Sweet rose. Oh, I got sugar. I got milk. I got butter. I got all-purpose flour. Two eggs, my chicken eggs. I can make these sweet rolls on the back of this Audi pack of yeast. So we can have rolls from the pantry. As y'all can see, I have an overabundance of eggs. <sighs> yeah. My chickens are laying like crazy, which I'm very thankful for. But I'm having to give them away. And I still have this many. And there's some that's not even in here because I haven't washed them. And they can sit on the counter. So I'm going to take full advantage of my supply of eggs. And we're going to have deviled eggs for my chicken eggs. And... Maybe add it to some pasta salad. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I got these babies, you see. I forgot. I do have a random bag of celery 
because it was on clearance for 25 cents. 25 cents at the Food City. I don't know why. It looks good. I mean, there's a couple spots, but it's not bad. I was going to use this to make some homemade cream of celery soup, but I'm probably going to use some of this to like flavor the turkey and probably make homemade stuffing. Ooh, reminds me. Oh my gosh. So I have all the ingredients to make homemade cornbread, my cornmeal, my flour, my eggs, my milk, my oil, and I can use that to make homemade stuffing. So you guys remember the big pack of onions I got the other day? I still have a lot of them, so that's going to flavor some things. Also has some random carrots in there. I just remembered I've seen those. I have random carrots. So I have a surplus of some pasta, let me tell you, because I like to stock up on that. I might make some homemade pasta salad. Might still have a few bell peppers in my garden. I don't know how they're still growing, but they are. So I'm going to go down there and see if I have a bell pepper. If I do, I will make a pasta salad and show you guys how to make that. Alrighty guys, here is the Thanksgiving meal plan. We're going to do a slow cooker turkey, some turkey gravy out of those drippings, some good old mashed taters, some cream skillet corn, a pasta salad, rolls, stuffing, deviled eggs, green bean casserole, broccoli casserole, and banana poke cake. Y'all think I can pull this off with just spending $22.06? Heck yes, I can. First things first, let's make dessert tonight. This time, I'm going to start making the banana poke cake. Um, I did not buy this. I've had this since last Thanksgiving. <laughs> I had an extra from last Thanksgiving, so heck far, I'm using it for the cake. I'm just going to bake this cake according to package directions. Then I'll show you what we do different after it's done. Let's throw her in the oven and bake her. Alrighty, the cake is done. It's hot, hot, hot like lava. So I'm going to let this cool, completely cool, and then I'll show you the rest. <laughs> Mix up your pudding according to package directions. I'm using French vanilla because it's what I had in my pantry. You can use regular vanilla or banana, whatever. But just mix it up according to package directions. Do not let the pudding set up before you do this. Stab holes all in your cake. This is a poke cake. If you let the pudding set up, it will have a hard time sinking into these holes. So we want to hurry <laughs> so it doesn't set up. We want it to set up in the cake. Pour the pudding on top and then spread her across. Yeah, some of my crumblies of my cake got in the pudding, but it's, it's okay. It's all gonna go to the same place anyways, right? Next step, cover with your bananas. Bananas. I just use two bananas for this. Use however many you want. Okay, and then all you do is put the Cool Whip on top. My Cool Whip is still halfway frozen, so it'll be prettier tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and and boil up the eggs for deviled eggs tonight as well. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and make them and keep them in the refrigerator. This is how I make my deviled eggs. I know it may be weird to some people. But this is how Dusty eats them. He is so picky when it comes to this kind of stuff. Anyways, I have nine egg yolks in here. Probably a teaspoon of mustard. Fourth cup mayo. <sighs> yep, that's ranch dressing. That is a tablespoon and a half of ranch dressing. I'm gonna add salt and pepper, mix it up, load it in my eggshells, egg yolks. Wait, egg whites. <laughs> And these are my little old deviled eggs. You see two without anything in them except a little pepper. That's because Ryder prefers his like that. <laughs> yeah. They may be weird to you, but they're good to us. I am also baking my cornbread for the stuffing tonight. I will leave a recipe in the description box below for this. Um, I did this a few months back. So, I don't want to show you again because you know it's redundant. But I'll put the link if you haven't seen it. Now, if this is not how y'all make cornbread stuffing, this is just what I was always taught my whole life, all right? You crunch up your cornbread after it's cooled, and you let it sit out overnight to dry. This is what I was taught. This is how I know to do it. So, that's what I'm doing. My turkey was almost too big for my crock pot, but I'm going to try to make it work because this is the only way we like turkey. I washed my turkey. Yes, I washed my turkey because it looked icky, and I dried it off. 
with the paper towels, man, I dry this thing. This thing is like dry, all right? Gives you a crispy skin, they say. We'll see. In a crock pot, I'm doubting it. But anyways, I'm making me a rub. You can use whatever seasonings you want. I used equal parts, parsley, thyme, poultry seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. But please, for the love, season your turkey with something. Don't just put salt, pepper, and butter. Season it. Make it taste good, okay? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put this on my turkey. I drizzled some olive oil over top because I don't want to waste my butter on a turkey when there's fat and skin on the turkey that makes fat. <laughs> so I'll just use some of my olive oil since I had it. And I'm going to save my butter for my actual side dishes. I, I seasoned this baby up. Please season your turkey, please. Anyways, I'm gonna cook this on low for 12 hours. I'm gonna check it every two hours, make sure she's not overcooked and dried out. I'm having a bit of a problem because I thought I bought a small enough turkey that it would fit in my crock pot. Clearly, I did not. I'm hoping that it shrinks a little during cooking, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put tinfoil over this and then sit the lid on top so it doesn't like, if it boil, I don't know. I just don't want it to make a mess. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I'm I'm gonna do it. All right, in my PJs, I've got my dessert made, my turkey on, my deviled eggs done, and my cornbread for the stuffing cooked and drying out. I think that's all I have to do now. Okay, we're good. Good morning. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really super pumped today. I don't know why, but you know, my hair is so weird. Okay, so now we got we got to get started. We got to make our stuffing, our green bean casserole, our skillet creamed corn, our mashed potatoes, our broccoli casserole. Let's do this. What am I gonna start with? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. I know. We're gonna start with the rolls. I've never made this kind of rolls before. I've made like mock Rhodes rolls before and they're really good, but I've never made the Audi yeast packet rolls. <laughs> Preheat oven to 375. Okay. Let's do what it says, half a pot of yeast. a half a pack. Okay, half a tablespoon of sugar. How much warm water? Half a cup. Warm water. Half a cup of warm water. Okay, stir it up. Let her sit for five minutes. The next step it says to scald a half a cup of milk. So that's what I'm doing. And then it says, mix fourth cup of sugar, salt, and butter until dissolved. Cool it until lukewarm. Okay, my milk is scalded. That's mixed in the fourth cup of sugar. I said a half a tablespoon of salt. Okay. Okay, half a stick of butter. All right. Mix well. When it has cool just a little add one cup of the flour okay now i add this little dough mixture to the yeast slurry Calls for two eggs. We'll add one cup and I'll mix that and then I'll take turns. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and add another cup. I'm gonna cover it up. Let's see. Let it rise until it's doubled in size. Okay. Cover it with a damp tea towel. Of course. Oops, forgot to hit record. <laughs> I am punching down my uh, dough. Now, it's said to knead again. So let's knead again. Okay, now let's pinch some balls. Sure. Sure, why not? It said let them double in size. Just so you guys know, I'm not a baker. Homemade breads aren't my thing. I wish I was, I wish I could. It's just not, it's just not me. I can, I can cook all day long. I just, baking is something I've never been really able to do besides a cake or like cookies. I can't breads. Is it, am I rolling these right? I don't know. Now we have to cover back up with that damp cloth and let it double in size. Okay, let's start chopping up this questionable celery. I'm going to cook up those onions and celery for the stuffing. I'm cooking them up in a little bit of butter. Actually, a lot of butter. I'm eyeballing it like usual, but poultry seasoning, probably a teaspoon. And I probably did a half a tablespoon of sage in here. That's all the seasonings I'm using. I'm using. I can't talk. That's all the seasonings that I'm using besides salt and pepper. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it, baby. And we mix it up and it's going to taste delicious. I'm going to put it in a casserole dish, but I'm not going to make this into a casserole type stuffing. I'm just putting it in here loosely. And total, I probably used about five cups of turkey drippings. Probably about five cups, to be honest. And I'm just stirring it up, set it aside. Okay. The stuffing isn't done. I have to bake it, but I've got it put together. All right, guys, we are making completely homemade green bean casserole. Now, what I'm doing here, I am melting about two and a half tablespoons of butter. I'll show you. I chopped up a half of an onion, a small onion, and I chopped it up kind of thin. And I chopped up two pretty good-sized mushrooms for this because we're going to make homemade cream of mushroom soup. Homemade cream of mushroom soup doesn't call for onions, but this recipe does, so I'm just gonna cook them together. I'm gonna toss this in and saute it up. Okay, let's saute up these veggies. You can definitely use store-bought cream of mushroom soup. I do all the time. It's just for green bean casserole. Dusty prefers it like this because he's not the biggest fan of green bean casserole. And it's Thanksgiving, so I want to make something that he enjoys. Now we're going to add <clears throat> two tablespoons. There's one. Two of all-purpose flour. I'm going to 
stir it up and let it cook a little bit to get that raw flour taste out of there. And yes, this is gonna be thick, because we want a thick, pasty roux. Now we're gonna add one cup of milk. I'm eyeballing it. For this part, I am using a whisk. I can't find my silicone whisk, so this is gonna have to do. I'm just gonna get easy. And I'll just let her get thick. My homegrown green beans, tossing them in there. Salt. Pepper. Yes, a little square of cheese because Dusty likes cheese in it. Oops, remember the bacon that I canned? I'm going to chop up a few of these pieces of bacon into this. Now, stir this all in together. Okay. I'm gonna pour it in this casserole dish. Green bean casserole needs French fried onions on top. And the thing is, it wasn't in my budget to buy the french fried onions. And I already had some onions at home, so I am going to make do and try to make my own. So in this little bowl, I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. Pepper. Salt. You can season this up with whatever you have on hand. I'm just using a little onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper, and that's it. Here's my onion pieces I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna soak these in egg or anything. I'm probably just gonna douse them in water to wet them because I don't wanna waste an egg. When my oil gets hot, I'm gonna drop these babies in. And there we go, there's a green bean casserole. She's not done, we still got a baker. I'm gonna set her to the side until I'm ready to bake my casseroles. Now we're making the broccoli casserole. I put two and a half tablespoons in the pan because we are gonna make homemade cream of mushroom soup again. But this time I'm not adding onions, it's just plain old cream of mushroom soup with mushrooms. Same thing, saute up your mushrooms Add two tablespoons of flour and then a cup of milk. I went ahead and heated up my broccoli cuts in the microwave. And I'm going to run my knife through them. You can buy already chopped broccoli cuts, but this is cheaper. This is just 88 cents for the bag when you can get the broccoli chopped already for, I think it's almost 218 now, I'm not sure. I really don't buy it because it's that much more expensive when you get less broccoli. I'm not too proud to save a buck by chopping. Yes, I am keeping all my scraps right here and when I got a pot, I'm gonna put it in my veggie broth bag. <laughs> Oops. 
Oopsie, doopsie. I actually think that's enough. I'm not going to use the whole. I'm going to just use a half. I'll save that for something else. And I'm going to dump all of this in my casserole dish that I'm going to be using. Yes, I'm not using my rotary grater right now because I just don't want to. <laughs> this was right there, so I just grabbed it. Pantry item, half a cup of uncooked rice. I'm going to do some salt. Pepper. A homemade cream of mushroom soup or a can of cream of mushroom soup. Whatever you prefer. Fourth cup of milk and one cup of water to help that rice cook. Now this casserole takes a long time to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her in the oven at least 45 minutes for this to cook because the rice needs to get done. All I'm gonna say is after this dinner, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff for some good broth. I am boiling up my taters and yes, I cut them in wedges because my mama does that for her mashed taters and her taters are the best. And I actually have like five potatoes left, so woohoo. You know, you know what? Cooking Thanksgiving dinner is tiresome and hot. I'm just gonna say. But since I have my potatoes on, it is time to put in my green bean casserole and the stuffing in the oven. What have we got left? I have to do mashed potatoes, which I'm cooking the potatoes, my skillet corn, skillet cream corn, and I have to do turkey gravy with the turkey drippings. About done, about done. Also, I was gonna do baked beans, but I decided not to do baked beans because I didn't have a bell pepper in my garden. So Dusty's just gonna have to, you know, get over it, I guess. Should I make a small pasta salad? Yes. I have these in my pantry, pasta everywhere. So I'm gonna just use what I can find to make a pasta salad. The best thing about pasta salads is you can literally put whatever you want in it. No recipe, just do it. Okay, I rated my fridge, I rated my crisper. I have a random carrot, <laughs> a random carrot. And I have two random cucumbers that are still good. And remember I only used half of the onion for the broccoli casserole. I'm gonna use that half, other half of the onion for a pasta salad. And I'm gonna just like mix mayonnaise, mustard, sugar, something together and we're gonna have a pasta salad, random. And here we are. Wow. <laughs> but this is a perfect example of just rating what you already have. Rating your refrigerator, your pantry, see what you can come up with. Yeah, let's do it. Do a basic like mayo, a little bit of, is that too much mayo? Mm. I'll start out with that much mayo. I don't want to overdo it because I'm only making the little pack of noodles. And we're going to do beep of mustard. Salt, of course. You need salt in a pasta salad or it'll taste like poo-poo. Some pepper. This may not be for everyone, but Ryder likes a sweet pasta salad. I'm not going to put much, just maybe a teaspoon, half a tablespoon, a little of vinegar. Okay, I'm going to wash my carrot. Um, so I'm just going to Good. I want to put that in my veggie bag. Not a lot. 
I'm actually probably gonna put the rest of this in the veggie bag too. Cause I'm gonna have some killer turkey broth after tonight. Now when my pasta is done, I'm gonna rinse it off with cold water so that it's not hot getting on this mayonnaise. That would be gross. <laughs> I, yeah, I look rough. It's been a rough Thanksgiving dinner. Anyways, the turkey's done, you all see. Like I said, crock pot turkeys are not gorgeous, but they're good. And there she is. There's my crock pot turkey. See how juicy she is. Seasoned up very well. Yep. It's gonna be fall off the bone tender. Up close, turkey shot. Oh yeah. I stole some of the turkey's drippings. We're gonna make a gravy. Let's make some mashed potatoes. Yep, that's tater water, you see? Cause my mama always told me, leave some of that tater water in there. She said it, therefore I'm doing it. All right, let's do this. I don't measure anything. A little bit of milk. Where did my butter go? Some butter. My mashed potatoes are simple. I don't put sour cream. I don't do none of that. Just simple butter, tater water, milk, salt, pepper. That's it. Salt to taste, of course, but it's a tater. It needs salt. My mama also told me, use a mixer. There you go, baby. I did it. Potatoes. I have my cooled pasta ready to be introduced into, and I'm being weird. Time to make that skillet corn. Yes, I took my casseroles out. Now, I started off with a half a cup of water. Dumped my corn in there. When I was digging deep in my freezer, I found this from Trader Joe's from I don't even know when. So I'm adding this to it because Ryder and Brayden love this corn. It doesn't match, this is white, but it's fine. Use what you got, use what you find. That's probably two tablespoons of butter. I don't even know at this point. Salt to taste. Pepper. Lots of pepper for this, lots of pepper. Okay, now let's bring her to a bowl. I'm waiting for the corn to come to a good boil so I can finish it. Um, right now I'm gonna make the turkey gravy. I put a tablespoon of butter in a little pot. To the melted butter, we're gonna add a thick tablespoon of flour. Let it cook for about a minute. And just let her get thick like a good old gravy. I'm calling the turkey gravy done. I'm gonna put her in a bowl. You're gonna take two tablespoons of flour and a half a cup of milk for this much corn. Whisk it together. But before we do that, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of sugar. Let 
Let her get thick. Y'all, I finished it. $22.06 is all I spent out of pocket. I ransacked my pantry, my deep freezer for anything I could to make sides. There's our stuffing. Mashed potatoes. Pasta salad. Turkey gravy. Rolls. Deviled eggs. Broccoli casserole. Green bean casserole. Cream skillet corn. Our good old turkey in the crock pot. I know she's not that pretty, but she's gonna be good. And our dessert, banana poke cake. She's ugly, but she's gonna taste good too. Yay. Man, <clears throat> Thanksgiving dinner's hard. And, and I burnt two rolls. Oopsie, or three. It's fine. Those aren't burnt, by the way. They're just that color, because they're purple. Forgot to do up close of the corn, but she's hot, so steaming away. Okay. Ray, how do you feel about Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> okay. There is the slow cooked turkey. Very juicy. 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 Yeah, it's full, but this is Dusty's plate. And this is how you're supposed to eat on Thanksgiving. Don't care what nobody says. Anyways. What's the review? What's the damage? Was it good? Was it bad? Delicioso. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, it was good. Everything? Everything. And this here is the simple banana poke cake. And it's super creamy very delicious this is so easy to make so easy i hope you try it i'm the taste tester for the dessert mm -hmm. tastes like a good banana pudding cooking thanksgiving dinner is hard so if you're not cooking this year and you're just eating with family Whoever cooks it, give them a big thank you. Because it's hard. It gets so hot. It's a lot of stuff to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to do a different take on the Thanksgiving side of, of YouTube. I just... I wanted to show you guys that you can make sides out of just random ingredients you already have. So you don't have to spend that extra money if you don't want to. Christmas is coming up. We all want to save money where we can. So I made my, my, a lot of my items I made with things from my pantry. So I hope that this video inspires you to go look in your cabinets, your pantry, your fridge, your freezer, your deep freezer, whatever you have. Hope it inspires you to go take a look in there and see what you can come up with with things that you forgot existed things that you forgot were even in there and they were pushed to the back like i found that random bag of corn and i was like i didn't even know how this what the heck so i hope that this video inspired you and i hope you enjoy and if you make some of these recipes i will leave all the recipes that i made in the description box below and if you make some of them i hope that you like them have a happy thanksgiving and i love you guys i'm gonna go take a shower because i sweated my booty off while cooking dinner <laughs> So I want to take a shower. Then I'm going to recruit some children to help me clean up this kitchen. So I'll see you guys later. Until next video, be positive, be kind, be happy. And please, please only surround yourself with things that bring your soul joy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.